Okay, this question is asking us to find the limit by using limit properties to break it down. Yes, you can find this limit simply by plugging 5 directly in there for x, and as long as you don't get undefined, we can get the answer that way. However, this one wants us to show it step by step by breaking it down, applying the different limit properties. In the notes where this problem comes from, there's a list of properties. So you want to make sure you take a look at those first, because that's what we're going to be applying to this one. One of the properties in there says that we can take a limit, if we have uh, different terms, we can apply the limit to each term individually, and that's the first thing we're going to do on this problem. So first, we're going to do limit x approaches 5 of 2x squared, and then we're going to do the limit x approaches 5 of 7. So of course, whatever limit this first one is, you're going to do that to uh, all the terms, so both of these have to go to 5. Next, another property says that we're allowed to take the constant, the 2, we can move that out in front of the limit. So we'll do that next. 2, and we're going to do limit x approaches 5 of x squared, and then the rest of this is still going to be the same. Okay, so now that we've broken that up, we can now apply the limit to each of these separately. The limit is x approaches 5 of x squared. That means that we're just going to put a 5 in for x. Okay, so that means it'll look like this. We have 2 times 5 squared. For this one, if it's always 7 and you're I have a property that one of the properties says that if this is a constant thing, no matter what value you approach here on x, you're just going to end up getting the constant. That's one of our other properties. So it means that this is always going to equal 7. And so then we can just work this out and we get 57 is the answer. Uh, you'll get 50 for the first one plus the 7. So the limit's going to be 57. So yes, we could have just done that from the very beginning and plugged 5 into that and gotten the answer. However, the question asks you to find the limit using limit properties. That means you have to actually show this step by step and break it down using all the properties to get the answer.